Hello again. Uh, we're going to have a quick look at how to do a design brief, um, how to write down your specifications and your constraints um, when you're given a specific scenario. So in this case, the scenario is they want us to design a burger box. Uh, it mustn't be bigger than A4 page, uh, the box itself, uh, when it's all folded up. Uh, it must bear a load of 200 grams completed within uh, three weeks and it must be made out of biodegradable material. So you normally would get a scenario and a design brief that looks very similar to that. And so you would um, just simply give back the information that's in the scenario for the design brief, uh, for the specifications and for the constraints. So. In the scenario, for example, they mention uh, that it must be biodegradable. So you'll use that information throughout this entire uh, process. Uh, so for example, uh, to a design brief always starts with uh, to design and make. And in this case, it's going to be a burger box. And then give a little bit more information. Maybe say, yes, it must be biodegradable. Uh, take three weeks, uh, bear a load of 200 grams. For specifications, if you can write um, uh, the model must be or the model must every time, then you'll easily get those marks. The model must bear a load of 200 grams. The model must be biodegradable. Uh, and then the constraints right at the end, let's see if I can get it to focus here nicely for us. The constraints right at the end usually have to do with um, the time constraints, so time in this case is three weeks, size is A4, materials is uh, biodegradable, and then the cost, they don't mention it, but I'm sure you would use something like affordable or um, within budget or something like that. All right, thank you.